Okay, so this one script will cover all these questions. Hi guys, this is JJ. And today we are going to take a look at the speaking part two, describe a person questions. Well, in my previous video, I said I made two scripts that cover most of describe a person questions, right? And today we are going to look at one of them, magic script number two. And this illustrates a person who is famous and how they look, their performances and their influence. Okay, so this one script will cover all these questions. Like a popular person in your country or who protects the, the environment or who is beautiful or handsome, political leader, you know, foreign person, etc, etc. How does this one story cover all these? Well, the script is structured around describing an imaginary person who is famous, beautiful, and an actress and an environmentalist at the same time. So now you can answer multiple questions just by using this one script. And this is how magic script number two looks like. So how about we go through it section by section? All right, so let's start with her fame and talent. Let me just read through it and explain some of the phrases and vocabularies. Okay. Actually, she has just become kind of famous because she used to mainly do independent films. Well, um, among her movies, my favorite would have to be her last film, a comedy called Don't Panic. Even though it was a low-budget movie, it was so well made and hilarious. Okay, here I used the word hilarious. It means extremely funny. It's a good vocabulary. So say it hilarious. Hilarious. Good. I mean the plot, directing and acting were all just spot on. So here spot on means extremely right. So very accurate. So everything was so good. But out of everything, I found her acting to be most outstanding. She gave me goosebumps many times throughout the movie. Goosebumps. Goosebumps means uh, small raised areas that appear on your skin, you know, because of cold, fear, or excitement. You know, that's these little bumps on your skins when you get cold or, you know, when you get excited. In that case, you can say, oh, I got goosebumps, right? Okay, so let's go back to the story. Um, thanks to her part in that movie, she's finally starting to make her name on the global stage. Okay, so here, make her name. To make her name means to become famous or respected by a lot of people. All right. Okay, so um, this actress is an imaginary person I made up. Um, but for your purposes, you can make her an actress in your country or a rising star from a foreign country. Okay, then let's move on to the next section. Here, I will describe her appearance. She's so beautiful, especially her eyes. Her brown, soulful eyes convey so much emotion that you know exactly how she feels without her having to say a word. They sparkle like diamonds when she's performing. Um, additionally, she's very fit and makes sure to stay in shape through all sorts of outdoor activities. Here I said, stay in shape. Um, it means to remain uh, physically fit, you know, in good health. In fact, she runs marathons on a regular basis even traveling abroad to participate in renowned marathons all over the world. And the story goes on. Oh, and she's very stylish. She picks out the perfect outfit every time she gets dressed. But that doesn't mean that she shops a lot or only wears designer clothing. Okay, here designer clothing means some expensive luxury clothing, you know, Chanel or 
product. Okay, let's go back. She often upcycles old clothes. Upcycles means to make new objects out of old or used ones, or or purposely buys them um, from environmentally friendly companies. Yeah, she shows us that we can still be fashionable and look great without having expensive luxury clothing. That's what makes her stand out among all the other fashionable stars. She even cares about environment when she chooses what to wear, which I found very impressive. All right, so this part can be perfect for answering questions needed to describe a person who is beautiful or fashionable or even someone who enjoys outdoor activities. Okay, so moving on to the next section. All right, so environmentalism, here you go. She's actually a dedicated environmentalist who has tried so hard to make the world more habitable. In order to create awareness of environmental issues such as climate change or water pollution, she has supported multiple educational campaigns and programs. For the longest time, she has put time and effort into changing policies and rules to be more eco-friendly. Here, for the longest time, it simply means for a long time. Well, in fact, it is also common for her to attend environmental seminars or join volunteer works. She's diligent and super passionate about environmental preservation. Okay, so this section can be used to answer the questions about describing a political leader or, uh, you know, obviously someone who helps to protect the environment. And you can even apply this section to answering questions in part three when the topic concerns the environment. And the last section, social media. To spread environmental awareness, she actively uses social media. She posts lots of interesting environmental facts and issues on her Facebook and Instagram profiles. She also shares what she does for the earth. For example, last time I checked, she had posted a picture of her old bicycle and wrote that she mostly travels by her bike when her destination isn't too far away. Not only that, she also shares lots of her thoughts and glimpses of her daily life on Instagram. Okay, here she shares thoughts and glimpses of her daily life. So glimpse means a brief sight of something or somebody. It's like at the moment. Uh, okay, which I found very engaging. Engaging means charming and attractive. I mean, I enjoy checking out her feed. Well, nowadays, you know, most people on Instagram are very pretentious. Pretentious means, you know, try to seem important, but you don't think they are. Uh, but she's just being herself sharing her daily life and her enthusiasm for the environment. Okay, so the story ends here. So this section certainly provides a possible answer to the exercise instructing you to describe a person you follow on social media. And this section can also help you answer questions in part three when the topic is related to social media. Okay, so now, I will show you how to answer this cue card using the script. So here you go. Describe a popular or well-known person in your country. And um, you know that you don't have to answer all these bullet points. They're just optional and you will not lose marks for not answering those. Okay, so let me start. Okay, I would like to talk about one of my favorite actresses, Gina, who is very popular in my country. Well, actually, she has just become kind of famous because she used to mainly do independent films. 
Um, well, among her movies, my favorite would have to be her last film, a comedy called Don't Panic. Well, even though it was a low budget movie, it was so well made and hilarious. I mean, the plot, directing, and acting were all just spot on. But out of everything, I found her acting to be most outstanding. She gave me goosebumps many times throughout the movie. And thanks to her part in that movie, she's finally starting to make her name on the global stage. And she's so beautiful, especially her eyes. Her brown, soft eyes convey so much emotion that you know exactly how she feels without her having to say a word. They sparkle like diamonds when she's performing. Well, additionally, she's very fit and makes sure to stay in shape through all sorts of outdoor activities. In fact, she runs marathons on a regular basis, even traveling abroad to participate in renowned marathons all over the world. So, yeah, she's such a charming and talented actress. All right, so see? Um, you have to make like one or two sentences in the beginning to answer directly to the given question and at the end here to finish up. But that's all you need to do. So my recommendation is to memorize this script and then practice applying it to various questions. Okay, so in my next video, I will show you more sample answers using this script. And in my next next video, I will introduce script number three, which covers most of describe an object questions. All right, so if you like this video and you want to learn more about IELTS speaking test, please subscribe to my channel and turn on the notifications. All right, all right. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you next time. Bye guys.